Rise and shine with the Jezier LeCoultre Master Compressor Memo Box. Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch You Want, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at a watch that revived the Memo Box in the modern era in tandem with Jezier LeCoultre's sports watch line, now at 41.5 millimeters in stainless steel. This reference, which debuted new for 2002 and ran through 2008, re-established JLC's famed line of sports watches that started with the Deep Sea of 1959 and famously ran through the late 60s and early 70s with the Polaris and Polaris II models. Now, stainless steel, 41.5 millimeters, this watch represents pretty much the perfect all-around timepiece. It has complication. It has manufacture heritage and provenance, that great JLC tradition. It's built in the image of the Polaris but it's not a carbon copy, it's not a tribute watch, it's a nod and a wink to the cognoscenti of the brand. And you can see on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference. The watch is handsome, it's got great stance, it's not too thick, but it has just enough sports watch presence that it doesn't appear delicate. Now this case is kind of famous. The case is called, well I call it, the 146 case because in the seven digit JLC case code, 146 is the code that describes this particular 41.5 millimeter case. It was used on everything from this watch here, the Master Compressor Memovox, up to the $92,000 Grand Memovox in platinum. So it got a lot of use in the JLC lineup, and that's probably because its proportions were just about perfect. It reads as a large 41.5. As you can see in these profile shots, it's considerably more massive than something like a 40 millimeter Rolex sports watch. Even the so-called Supercase Rolex sports watches, the six-digit reference Submariners and GMTs, don't have quite the wrist presence of this 41 and a half. And it's not a difference of 1.5 millimeters. It's a lot more pronounced than that. And a big portion of that difference comes from the compressor crowns that flare out at two o'clock and four o'clock on the case flanks. Now you can see that this heavily bolstered calfskin strap with a contrasting double stitch really is the perfect contrast to the white metal and the black dial. Elegant, this could absolutely be a formal watch for dress occasions, but with summer on the way, you'll be happy to know this one's water resistant to 100 meters, and those compressor crowns are a big reason. Now let's talk a little bit about the complications of this watch, starting with the compressor crowns themselves. Both an aesthetic feature and a complication feature, this is a unique way of sealing a crown that JLC invented in-house. One half turn, you see it's color-coded. White, you're tight. Red, now it's unlocked. I like to say red, you're dead. Make sure it's white, you're tight before you dump, jump into the water. But the cool thing here is that unlike a screw-down crown, which can be cumbersome to use when your hands are wet or your hands are sweaty or you're wearing gloves, this is easy one half turn and you've secured the crown. This one here at four o'clock is used for winding and setting the watch and this one here at two o'clock is used for setting and winding the alarm system that you just heard. It's a completely different take on a water resistant crown. Very convenient. It gets a lot of compliments. People want to know what it is. It inspires the right kind of questions about a watch. Not what, what does it cost? Is it real? But wow, that's cool. Who makes that? Where did you get that? This is the kind of watch that sparks conversation among enthusiasts and non-enthusiasts alike. It just elicits smiles. Like I said, it's the perfect timepiece for spring. Now, in the spirit of the 1960s master compressor watches, like the original Polaris, like the Jezier LeCoultre Master Mariner, this watch features an internally rotating dive bezel so that you can't accidentally displace it by bumping it when you're underwater. Uh, that's the safety feature that allows this watch to meet the legal standards ISO 6425 for a dive watch. But rather than go with a conventional unidirectional rotating piece, JLC, led by designer Magali Metroyer, then in her, I believe, late 20s or early 30s when she designed this watch, went with a slightly more adventurous take. A historical reference, an internally rotating bezel, complements the Polaris 68 look of this watch very nicely. And when I say Polaris 68, I mean the definitive version of the great JLC Polaris diving alarm that, that debuted in 1968. Take a look at one of those, Google that. You'll see there's a lot of family resemblance here, again, without being literal. The watch also features a Jezier LeCoultre manufacturer caliber 918 alarm. And you heard at the beginning of this video just how bright it is. It's quite loud. It has great sustain and resonance. And I would say the watch was only about halfway wound when I set it off. I didn't want to 
have the watch ringing on camera for 30 seconds or more, but the reality is that this one is an alarm clock. Put it on top of a hollow wooden dresser or a bedside desk and it's absolutely going to wake everyone in the room, earplugs or no. A fantastic alarm. You can also use it for timing your dives if you want a reminder in addition to the dive bezel that it's time to come up. This is the perfect watch for summer and again the JLC manufacturer provenance just means that this watch is original through and through. Everything from the compressor crowns to the internally rotating dive bezel to the unique asymmetrical design of the dial that references the company's own history to that in-house manufacture movement that's passed the Master Control 1000 hour accuracy test. Fully cased up, this is an actual 18 karat red gold medallion re itself referencing the Geophysic Geosphere logo from 1958 the old JLC Geophysic. There's a lot of history and JLC heritage and original engineering tied up in this watch and it is itself being cited as something of a modern classic, an embryonic classic, a collector's piece in the making. JLC enthusiasts on the forums, including some of the world's leading authorities on the brand, have the highest regard for this piece. I know I love it and it's been a real thrill to handle it and experience it firsthand. This is a watch that I've admired from afar for a long time and I remember that this generation of JLC Master Compressor was what got me into the brand back in the early 2000s and actually turned me on to JLC when it barely had a presence in the United States. Now during the 1980s the company was in-house with IWC at the instrument maker VDO in Germany so having two companies making sports watches in-house was basically verboten in the eyes of the German management. IWC did sports watches, JLC did a Bosch's and formal watches. As of the 2000s, the JLC sports watch was reborn with the Master Compressor Series and today that lineage is beginning to turn collectors on to potential bargains on the pre-owned market. Not yet among the ranks of the true greats like the Deep Sea, like the Polaris. It nevertheless is building esteem and building excitement online and at watch collector meetings like Red Bar. This is a fantastic reference that you can wear and enjoy now. Automatic winding with an alarm, a date, and the ability to get wet. This could be your only watch, but why stop there? If, like me, this watch turns you on to all that is great about JLC, then check it out on our website, Watch You Want, in outstanding condition. This is the Jezier Lecoult Master Compressor Memovox, 41.5 millimeters in stainless steel.